Sicilian Defense, Open, Skeven Engine, Classical Variation, 6, a 6-7.B3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. b3 supports the strong d4 knight in the center. E6 controls the d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This offers an equal trade of pieces. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. That's good. This threatens to kick a bishop. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is incorrect. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This gives away a free pawn. This threatens to pin a knight. There was only one good move in that position. 
This overlooks a better way to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a blunder. That pawn was available for free. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This loses a better opportunity to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is quite good. Thus, a knight is lost. It is incorrect. This wins a knight's tempo while also developing a piece. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. This wins a knight. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.